Good morning. Welcome back to Tina Smooth TV. Um, I just want to get on here today. Um, I'm recording from my son's car because I got something to do in the, I got something to do for a job. But anyway, I just wanted to get on here and let you all know, tell you all, don't let nobody come against what God told you to do. If you know in your heart that God told you to do something, do that. I don't care if it's your mama, your daddy, your sister, your brother, your grandma. If you know in your heart, you have a good report with the Lord Jesus Christ. And you know in your heart that the Lord Jesus Christ is sending you in a certain direction. Go where God is sending you. Because most of the time when God is sending you somewhere, everybody going to be against it. Everybody going to look at you like you crazy when you're doing something for the kingdom of God. That's how you know you're doing something for the kingdom of, kingdom of God. When you're following the leadership of the Holy Spirit. Because people around you are not going to get it. They're not going to understand they're not gonna be receptive. They're gonna come against it. They're gonna make try to put create doubt in your mind because they haven't renewed their mind yet. They haven't educated themselves. And you have to think about that too. Don't get mad at these people because these people they just don't know. It's not that they're trying to hurt you or they're trying to come against you. They just don't know. And the devil using their lack of knowledge to try to put doubt in your heart about what the Lord Jesus Christ has told you to do and what Lord Jesus Christ has told you was yours and what you gonna have and everything that Lord Jesus Christ has told you these people try to come against it and it's not because they don't love you because they honestly love you they just don't have the knowledge and the Bible tells us our people perish for lack of knowledge anything that I do or anything that I would tell y'all to re do y'all research y'all or do it's all biblical it's all in the Bible as a man think if so shall he be that's in the Bible. So the Bible is letting us know whatever we think in our mind, that's what that what we gonna attract. As a man think, so shall it be. So whatever you think about yourself, whatever you think in your mind, that's what you're gonna attract. Don't worry about what other people think about you. It's all about what you think. So you need to be thinking what God thinks about you. God said you shall live and not die. So that's what you need to think. God said, God promising you all these things, so that's what you need to go on. If you in right standing and you're doing what you're supposed to do for the kingdom of God y'all or who i am talking to i'm talking to the winning team the people that's in right standing with god people that is seeking him on a daily basis people that are trying their best to do what god told told them to do and waiting to hear a word from god those are the ones that i'm talking to but if you're not on the winning team i can tell you how to get on the winning team first you have to believe that jesus christ is the son of god no man comes through the father except through the son Second, you have to believe that he died on the cross for your sins, which he did. He died for you. He died for me. He died for the world. And third, you have to ask him to forgive you of your sins and come into your heart and save you, and you will be saved. Trust and believe you will be saved. God is not a man that he should lie. God would not be mocked, and he would not be made a fool of. So if you trust God and you believe in God, and you, even if you're not sure that, you, that God is telling you to do it, move on what you think God is telling you to do and one thing about the Holy Spirit he will let you know if you're moving in the right direction or not he will not fail you you have to believe you have to trust you have to get in in like mind you got to get around like-minded people or uh, these people will create doubt in your mind if you don't stay hooked to the Holy Spirit they 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 the um, modern day Pharisees they just like the religion people that killed Jesus they just don't get it but we have to pray for them and hopefully that they get it one day. This has been Tina Smooth TV. You can watch me. You can watch my mentor, Latoya O'Kill. You can watch Tony Gaston, uh, Miles Monroe, Dr. Miles Monroe, Les Brown, Joyce Meyer, T.D. Jakes. There's so many people out there that you can watch. You can download the Bible app on your phone and start with 1 John. That's what everybody always say, start with 1 John. Because it speaks of the life and death, all the miracles and things that Jesus did before his death and leading up to his death so that's why they always start with first john when people first give their life to the lord jesus christ so you can know the price that was paid for your life all right i love you guys you guys have a great day i'll check you later